Hello everyone, how are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. We are here to do your random daily, now that I have got all the monthlies done. For the time frame of about, I'm hearing February 1st to approximately February 5th. So let's go ahead and let's see what we got coming up for all of us here. All right, let's see what we got going on. I may have to let my dogs out during the reading. So FYI, I just fed them. Usually it's about a 10 to 15 minute time frame before they have to go outside. So I think we might be good. Let's just see what happens here. All right, everyone, we are gonna be using the Witch's Tarot for our general reading. We are gonna be pulling some clarifiers from my deck and then we are going to be doing some advice for all of the elements. All right, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. Let's go ahead and pull. These cards here. Hopefully all of you can see these cards. There we go. So let's see what's going on here. Now, the way that I did this particular spread is, you know, and I, I do these kind of randomly. You guys know how random I am. But it looks like these are the cards that are going to influence these cards, and these cards are going to influence these cards. So let's just see what we have coming up for us in the next five days. First card out is the moon. The moon is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio person. This could mean deception. This could mean illusion. This could mean that there is a need to shed light on a situation. Someone, I'm also hearing someone is waiting for direction on how to move forward with a project, with a decision as well. Um, I'm also hearing uh, someone may have done something against your wishes, okay? So that could be coming through here as well. Um, this is someone, oh, interesting. This is someone who is the outcast, okay? She is the outcast, and now she is in an environment where she feels as though she can, she can survive, she can last, she can persevere. But while she's there, she's gathering information. She's looking for something. She's trying to find something. She's researching. And so this is the energy that is coming through uh, as it relates to the next five days. And I'll pull in psychic downloads later but you know i do get psychic downloads as i'm actually reading the cards no card okay is always going to have the same message with me it's just not going to happen <laughs> but um yeah there is there's definitely something going on um as it relates to someone who is it's so interesting it's like She's on her own. She's kind of an outcast. She's looking. She's researching. She's, but she's got this whole group of people behind her that nobody sees. Okay. So that might be making sense for some of you out there. What is the next card? Star reversed. Hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, associations, astrological alignments. So, if there is something that is stalling for you, if there's something that's not moving forward for you, just know it's just not the time, okay? It's just not time for things to move forward just yet. They will, okay? And we will see what the outcome of this is. And again, this is just for the next five days. So we're talking about a five-day time frame here. But this could also be an Aquarius person that maybe not be feeling well, maybe upset for some reason, and yet still hopeful. So it's so interesting because this Aquarius is looking at 
this Pisces Cancer Scorpio. And remember, the moon is also about psychic abilities. And something is coming up here where an Aquarius, while not necessarily supporting what's being said, they are begrudgingly allowing this to move forward. They are stating that there is a concern that needs to be addressed. Okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. What is the next card? Ace of Wands reversed. The Ace of Wands reversed is coming through and it is basically saying that something has failed to launch. Um, there is a delay with a project. There's a delay with some sort of new passion project that is out there. There is a delay regarding a transformation, whatever that means to you. Um, this could also mean that the passion has waned, meaning, okay, this is what I'm getting for some of you. Um, perhaps some of you have been dating somebody new and it was so exciting at the beginning. So exciting, super fun, having a good time. And all of a sudden there's a feeling of like, is this going to go anywhere? Um, am, am I wasting my time? Is this something I truly want to embark on? Is this a, is this a path I want to embark on? Um, I feel like this person is no longer interested in me. I, or, or maybe you are no longer interested in them. But some sort of energy is coming through regarding that. So the way that I see this here is I see that there's a Pisces Cancer Scorpio that is researching something, that wants to have more information, that's looking towards something that does have a lot of support in their back pocket or they have evidence in their back pocket. But this Aquarius is, is reluctant. This Aquarius is reluctant to accept what has been exposed here or what is about to be exposed here because remember this is illusion and delusion and it may have something to do with launching a project or some passion project or just energy right so i mean when you get the ace of wands upright that is primal energy and so there's some sort of primal energy or energy of self that is waning or that is no longer interested. Okay, so that's what I see coming through here. So what is this energy creating? Oh boy, the sun reversed. The sun reversed is coming in and saying, there's no independence, there's no freedom, there's no um, joy, love. It, it just, it feels like it's just not there. Okay, it feels like the support is not there. Okay, the feeling of being young again, the feeling of being healthy and vibrant and alive is, is not there right now within this next five days. Okay, it's just... It's a feeling of... Okay, for some of you, it's a feeling like, when is the sun going to shine? I need, I need more sun. So for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, you're like, oh my gosh, I, I'm so ready for the winter to be over. But for others of you out there, it is the illumination of something that has yet to be revealed. And I think this has something to do with this moon card about someone who is looking for the answers, someone who's looking to dig deeper into a situation. This could also be a Leo person that's not feeling so well, or this could be a child that is not feeling so well, or they're upset in some way, shape, or form. Now, this child that is upset might be uh, also upsetting an Aquarius mother or father figure or mentor or something like that. But the thing about it is, there's something that they're also curious about. 
So again, it's a reluctant yes. It's a reluctant look. Let's just look into this and see what's going on. That's what I see here. What is the next card? Page of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. Wow. Water signs. You're really showing up in this reading as well as Aquarius and Leo. So water signs, it feels to me like someone doesn't want to be blindsided. Someone doesn't want to be taken out. Someone who up until this point has has been quite innocent and quite loving and quite kind is wow I'm hearing ready to face the music ready to face the music so what does that mean someone is ready to look at the truth of a situation and it might be emotionally taxing for whatever reason but or emotionally you know, insecure or emotionally driven or emotionally difficult, but it must be done. I'm hearing what must be done must be done. So that may mean something to some of you out there. What is the last card as the outcome? Oh my gosh. Five of cups, upright, regret, loss, pain, feeling left out, concerned, anxious, worried. I should have, shoulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda. And that may be the title of this reading, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Someone is facing a loss. Someone is facing their fear. You know, and that's the whole thing. This might be an Aquarius person, a Leo person, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio facing their fear. Okay. That's what I see here. Let's see what we got going on with clarifiers. Let's go ahead and pray over the deck. See what we got clarifying. Why these energies are here. Why is the moon card here? Why is there a need for more research? A need to look into something further. And um, maybe to face someone's fears. Uranus. Unexpected developments. Something unexpected may happen to you in the next five days or even today or even a couple days ago. But something very unexpected as it relates to self-value, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own, the body politic, creature comforts, stubbornness. Okay. Because Uranus is in Taurus and those are the energies that Taurus rules. Also possessions. Okay. Why is uh, the star reversed? cycles. You know, um, I have to say it. <laughs> this might be about menstrual cycles and this could also be about menopause. Okay. It's about the cycles of life as well. It's also about the cycles of a woman's body. Okay. So the reason someone is feeling a little bit out of sorts and maybe hopes, wishes, dreams, goals um, are kind of fading or the planets are aligning in such a way that are causing difficulties in some people's lives is because of cycles. It's because of the cycles of life. It's because of cycles, things coming in, coming out. And um, especially, especially for women, menopause. Okay. Why is the Ace of Wands reversed commitment? So there is a commitment that you have to a friend, to a family member, sister, brother, mother, father, uncle, aunt, whatever it is, friend, a business partner, 
a commitment. And that commitment could be keeping you from moving forward or that commitment might be keeping you from enjoying passions or or <clears throat> launching something new. Okay, so that could be coming in for some of you out there. Why is the sun reversed? Date night. So something is going on right now where someone wanted a date night, <laughs> but you couldn't find a babysitter. It could happen. But for others of you out there, um, a child really wants to spend time with you right now, or a Leo wants to spend time with you right now. And um, maybe you had prior engagements, a, um, a need to go out and see people and have a good time or go out on a date or whatever. So this, this Leo person is delayed or this child is feeling as though they have to vie for your time. Now remember, this is a general reading, and um, this also um, might be happening around you as well. So if you're out with your girlfriend, you're out with your boyfriend, and somebody is late, oh, well, I had to take care of something with my kids, or I had to take care of something with my, my wife, my significant other, whatever it is, that could certainly be coming through here as well. Uh, why is the Page of Cups here? The X, very interesting. So the X is coming in for some of you out there. Um, this could be an ex-wife, an ex-friend, an ex, an ex-lover, um, an ex-boss, an ex-company. Okay, whatever this is in your life. And so now this X is coming in and they're creating all of these emotions in your life right now and you want to be nice you want to be kind you want to be loving but the emotions of the situation are are really a lot to deal with right now this is interesting that we have this here because of course we have the regret the loss and the pain so why is the regret the loss and the pain here solution well as all of you know, the solution to your problem, the solution to the situation is to let someone know you were hurt, you were pained, you feel regret, you feel lost. This is this is this is an apology. This is the acknowledgement of how someone was affected by this emotional turmoil that was created. Okay. So you guys are going to have to let me know how that's working for you. Let's get into the elements. Earth, air, water, fire. Earth, air, water, fire. I just heard someone is um, sealing the deal. Sealing the deal. Holding somebody accountable as well. All right, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. Earth signs, what's going on with you? What is your advice, earth signs? Minnetonkin, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. So earth signs, you want to be home. You want to be around people who support you. You feel like there is a distance between you. And you want to close that gap. And it's okay to feel that way. So right now you're working on creating networks, associations, friends 
that will support you moving forward on your new path is what I'm hearing. Air signs, the initiation, the rite of passage, and crossing the threshold. So for the air signs out there, I think that what's going on with you right now is that you or someone around you is embarking on a new phase of life. And you're having to prove yourself. And you're having to show that, you know what, I can do this. I'm worth it. I can make this happen. I'm embarking on a new phase of life, mentally, physically, or emotionally. Water sign, what's going on with you? No, wait, postpone, pause, say no. No, postpone, wait, pause, say no. No, I will not tolerate that. No, that is not going to work. No, hold on a minute. Let's rethink things before we move forward. <clears throat> Fire signs. Birthing a new age. Birthing new creations. Dreaming a new world into being. Oh my gosh, fire signs. This is so amazing for you, especially Sagittarians, I got to tell you, because the vision, birthing the vision into reality is what is taking place. It's time for a new beginning. It's time to move forward. It's time for the new path. And maybe you've been through this already. And you're realizing it's time to let go of all of that negative energy. It's time to let go, go of all of that negative self-talk. The solution is to forgive, forget. Well, forgive, never forget. <laughs> forgive, never forget. But move on. Move on from any pain, anguish, or any situation that does not serve you. All right? All right, everyone, I hope you like this uh, short little mini random reading, and it's going to be for the next five days. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.